So this next uh, section is um, on wave characteristics. In particular, we're going to start off with talking about uh, wave intensity. So just a reminder uh, about energy in, uh, in this case, a pulse, a single pulse. Uh, this gentleman, let's go with the string here. Uh, the a pulse will travel down the wave. Remember the particles of the uh, medium itself, in this case, the rope, don't travel, but the energy does. So you need to know that. And if this gentleman keeps on wiggling, this string, uh, it would create a progressive wave or a traveling wave. So I can show you this video really quickly. This is the video of the pulse. And there's the pulse traveling down the wave. Notice it gets inverted as it reflects from either end, so now it's right side up. And there the wave is upside down or inverted and back upward again. Okay back to our presentation. Okay, just the definition of a traveling wave. Uh, it's, uh, it's one that travels out from a point source. Now I'll give you some examples of point sources in a minute, but uh, just want to distinguish between simple harmonic motion when we calculated energy in the um, uh, the wave like a mass oscillating on a spring was one half the spring constant times the square of the amplitude. For this case, uh, we have traveling waves, the energy is uh, delivered over and over again. Um, so a better description is going to be the rate at which energy is delivered, and we call that uh, power. Uh, an example of a point source would be just a single speaker like you have in your radio or um, whatever car speaker, just a single speaker as opposed to multiple speakers, or a firecracker tossed in the air, just a single source of sound, you toss it up and it explodes in the sound. Uh, travels outward in all directions. Here's a, a neat graphic you can see. Here's the source of sound right here, and it travels outward equally in all directions. We're just going to look at this one particular sector of the sphere of a, for a moment, and the area, remember area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So we have this uh, signal strength, which is indeed uh, power in our case, is divided by the area over which it's distributed. We're going to call that intensity. So here, a distance r, some distance r from the source, we have a particular area, and we call uh, the intensity i. If we're twice as far away, we have four times the area. That same sound intensity is distributed over uh, four times the area. So the intensity is, is one-fourth what it was over here. And over uh, three times, uh, at a three times distance away, we have uh, nine uh, times the area, or intensity would be nine times as less. And just conceptually, um, the wave will certainly get weaker as it travels farther from its source. And we're going to define uh, the power per uh, area and units of watts per square meter uh, in, by this equation right here. So power divided by uh, the area 4 pi r squared. And you can see that it's indeed an inverse square law, uh, very similar to um, the gravity or uh, the electrical force between charges. It's an inverse square law. Here's some uh, mathematical examples. You can use this equation to uh, try these examples. And you can pause the video now while you work these out. And in a moment, uh, we just restart it. I'll give you the answers. So pause your video right now. OK, so here come the answers. Two tenths of a joule, 250 watts there. And last one, four times is less. That one, last question, number four, might require a little bit more uh, description, but uh, notice that the uh, Maddie was three meters away here, and he's three more meters away, so he's effectively doubling his distance, so twice the radius is four times the intensity, excuse me, four times less, one quarter the intensity.